is the one that people paid to see. The atmosphere here is absolutely electric. Jushin Thunder Liger in an ROH ring, squaring off against the best in the world, Brian Danielson. Danielson played mind games already with the handshake. Will we see the code of honor fall? Yes! Jushin Liger follows the code of honor and shakes hands with Danielson. And I'm gonna try to call this match to the best of my ability. My head is split wide open. Sorry if I get any blood on you, Bauer. I got a splitting headache. That was the loudest crowd reaction I've heard to anybody that ever graced the Ring of Honor ring. That was just, that was fantastic. A clean break from the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. This is what made people fly in from all over the world. This is why the international media is here. This is why people drove from all over the United States. This is why you see him punk with a splitting headache are sitting here watching this match. Jushin Thunderliger here in Ring of Honor. Yep, this is what it's all about. I mean, this weekend was named after that man. Probably the most influential junior heavyweight in the last 20 years. Had great rivalries with El Samurai. The list goes on and Chris on. Ben, Chris Benoit. When you talk about people that's had influence on the wrestlers here in ROH, Jushin Liger is definitely at the top of the list. We are seeing an absolutely epic match here. The legend Jushin Liger and the emerging legend Brian Danielson. Liger so far with the advantage. Trading holds on the mat and this Boston crowd loves it. Danielson is a man that put ROH on the map. So many great mid matches, more than you can possibly list. I mean, more this year alone. Jushin Liger, a legend. For Brian Danielson, though, this isn't about wrestling Jushin Liger. This is about beating Jushin Liger. These fans are here to watch Liger wrestle. They're, I, I don't even think that they're so concerned with the outcome of this one, to be honest with you, Punk. But for Brian Danielson, the outcome means everything. Did you hear the reaction Brian Danielson got when he whipped his robe at, at Liger? They're gonna be, they're gonna be hot if he wins. They want to see Liger. Liger's a superhero. They want to see Liger win. They paid to see Liger. This is a dream come true for me and a dream come true for many of these fans to see Liger compete. And you are right, they do want to see Liger win. Another interesting note about Brian Danielson is that he has not competed in Boston since Scramble Madness back in November 2002 when he fought Doug Williams in a half hour Iron Man match. So he's not really a fan favorite of this Boston crowd. The quickness of Liger exhibited right there, simply amazing. That's the single sole reason that Brian Danielson has never been able to beat Liger. Danielson showing signs of frustration right there as Liger out, continues to out-wrestle. Liger's always one step ahead of him. Liger's such an innovator in this wrestling business. Popularizing moves like the surfboard, the shooting star press. Originating a lot of the, the, the suicide dives that you see. Originally getting his start in Mexico and then uh, migrating back to Japan and getting his big break. Liger is a true first bout Hall of Famer, a true legend in this business. Brian Danielson truly among the best in the world. Samoa Joe making his way out to ringside to be in Liger's corner. Of course, tomorrow night it will be Liger and Joe against Danielson and Loki. Liger winning the test of strength right now, but Danielson, no slouch himself, powering out. Slaps on that side headlock. Big tackle and nobody goes anywhere. Jushin Liger is a powerhouse. He's adopted a lot more power lifting into his training regimen. Oh yeah, I was with him in LA last week. He's putting up some weight, that guy can lift. Baseball slide by Danielson, leg pick. Oh, he's going for the surfboard. He's, he's, and he's insulting Liger, slapping him in the back of the head. Now he's, I suspect he's gonna try to grab those arms. No, Liger powers out. And speak of the devil, there's that, that power lifting experience. I mean, if you look at the stature of Liger and then you look at his legs, his legs are about as round as his waist. We're gonna see it. Patton and Jushin Liger, if he can turn over Brian Danielson here, he's got the one arm. Danielson, slaps the ribs, gets the other one. Danielson's fighting it. And up he goes. 
See Samoa Joe there in the bottom left hand of your screen, smiling his approval, and he locks on that chin lock. What a stretch on Danielson. We can see a tap. Danielson going to the mask. That was about the only way he was getting out of that one, Bauer. I mean, he was locked in the center of the ring. You mentioned you were in California, Punk. I was in California as well, conducting a straight shooting interview with Jushin Liger. That's right, ROH conducted a shoot interview with Liger that'll be released in the near future. Till the world backbreaker. Let me tell you something, Liger is a very nice, a very humble guy. You really get to see his true personality in that interview. Wait a second, Airborne? No, Air Liger taking a back seat right now. Drop kicks Danielson into that guardrail and he sails. Liger showing he's not coming here to take the night off. He's in ROH to give his best in the win. The crowd's loving it. There's not a single person in this building right now that's sitting down. For information on that straight shooting interview that will be released soon, check out ROHwrestling.com or call 215-781-2500. ROH is the real king of the shoot interviews with the straight shooting interview series. Mick Foley, the Fantastics, the Midnight Express, One Man Gang, Kamala, Two Cold Scorpio, and Jushin Liger, plus many more. Check it out, ROHwrestling.com. 215-781-2500, plus DVDs from many different promotions. Back to the match. Danielson definitely frustrated getting back in the ring and immediately bulldozing Liger into the corner, following up with vicious chops, forearms, and European uppercuts. Danielson's on a personal mission here. It's not about the contender's ring. It's not about rankings. It's only about the victory here for Brian Danielson. It's a personal issue. He wants to prove to the world that he can beat Jushin Liger. I have goosebumps, punk. I got to admit it. Can he beat Jushin Liger, though? That is the question. Most people throughout their entire careers, as both men are jockeying for position here, fighting, have that one person that they can never seem to beat. Is, is, is that the case here with Liger and Danielson? Can Danielson put away Liger? Danielson has made his star in New Japan. He's a former IWGP junior champion. He's beaten all the top juniors except for Liger. He wants to do it right here in his home promotion in the US. Hangs Liger out the dry on that top rope. Seems to be focusing on the midsection now. Scores with that big drop kick. Now Liger's the one on the floor. This is the first real disadvantage that Liger's been in in this match. The fans voicing their disapproval for Danielson and some shady tactics in this one so far, such as going to the mask. Well, Danielson, I don't think he's gonna pull out every little dirty trick in the book to try to win, but that mask is there. I mean, you gotta admit, you don't see it too often. You don't see mask wrestlers that nowadays that, that often in America, but you, you wear that mask, you're opening yourself up for that mask to be used against you. Danielson getting very aggressive now, once again going to the mask to the eyes. A European uppercut connects. And previous to that, Danielson sent into those unique ROH steel barricades. Once again, Liger tastes the steel. Oh, Danielson now showing, showing Boston's finest fans that they are number one in his book. You think those fans are getting to him, Punk? Well, it's got to be a little unnerving. I mean, this is Brian Anderson's home promotion, and he's pretty much getting booed. But you got to understand, this is this is the Liger weekend. This is the weekend of thunder. Also, Danielson has not been in Boston since 2002. That could play a factor in this. Although we do have fans from all over the United States, all over the world, they've seen all of Danielson's great matches. A bunch of fans from, uh, I believe it was England earlier. Danielson putting Liger back into the ring. Todd Sinclair telling him to. Of course, no countouts here in ROH. If you are on the floor too long, you can be DQ'd. You got a cover. I don't think yeah. you got to worry about a DQ in this match. I mean, Todd Sinclair knows what's on the line here as Brian Danielson slaps on the rear chin lock. I mean, look at, look at the grip he has right there. He's got that cinched in tightly. Liger needs to get out of that hold. 
Danielson now trying to turn it into a stretch. Of course, Danielson loves to use a dragon suplex and cattle mutilation even more so, a submission move. Look at him driving the elbows into the rib cage, now going after the nose and mouth area. Meanwhile, keeps that stretch on. It's a grounded abdominal stretch right now. Two count with that crucifix. Will's man over for a crucifix. I mean, you saw him drape his stomach across the top rope. You saw him bury his knee into the midsection of Liger. And now with that abdominal stretch, he's just following up with vicious stomps right to the midsection. Danielson trying to go for the arm. Of course, if you weaken the arm, that helps set up somebody for cattle mutilation. Now a double underhook. Liger in control in the early going, but right now the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, in firm control with that butterfly suplex and a cover. Two count only from Todd Sinclair. Once again, Danielson trying to cut off the oxygen from Jushin Liger with that rear chin lock. Which especially if when your opponent wears a mask, very, very smart strategy. Danielson going to the mask again, Sinclair calling for a break. And now he's just trying to take the mask off of the legend. Line games by Brian Danielson. He's trying to get the Liger's head by doing this. And you hear the disdain of the crowd. Now he's just being disrespectful to the referee too. Brian Danielson has tunnel vision. He is clearly focused on winning and nothing else. He doesn't care how he gets there. This crowd definitely getting to Danielson. I'm kind of rooting for Liger in this one, though. I got to admit it, Punk. It's not too often you get to see someone like Liger in the ring. Danielson moves out of the way. You felt this yourself, the airplane spin. Many, many times, and if you put me in it right now, I would definitely puke. My head is killing me. I can only imagine what Liger feels like right now. Revolutions is that power. I lost count. Plants him. Danielson usually likes to fall with a headbutt, but he's dizzy as well. Can he find the ropes? Danielson's going on pure instinct right now. With help from that dumb Hold on, man. Mike, he's facing the wrong way. Oh no, there he goes. Liger moves. No water in the pool. Brian Danielson crashes and burns. Liger's still dizzy though, he stumbles into the ropes. He's going up now. Danielson moves. Both men taking a page out of the great Chris Benoit's book, a man that Brian Danielson has been compared to many, many times. A man that Fusion Liger's had many classics against. This match is all evened up. After the effects of that airplane spin, both men dizzy, both men reeling from missing top rope diving headbutts. European uppercut, chop. After European uppercut, after chop, both men fighting in the middle of the ring. They're doing whatever it takes to get advantage. Oh, the palm strike missed. There it is. How many times have you seen it on tape? Now you get to see it live. There's another one in the corner, nowhere to go. Danielson, a head full of cobwebs, trying to shake it out right now. Liger places Danielson on the top rope, looking to score for the Hurricanrana, and he does. Cover! Danielson just barely gets that shoulder up. Right now, both men focus squarely on this match. But you got to keep in mind, how's this going to affect tomorrow night in that dream partner tag team match? Back elbow. Liger, or excuse me, Danielson scores with a drop kick to the arm of Liger. Liger looked like he was going for another palm strike, but Danielson outsmarted him. Danielson now focused squarely on that arm. Oh, look at, look at Liger's arm, it's like, looks like he's bent the wrong way. Liger almost begging off there. 
Danielson, though, he's gonna be aggressive if he knows Liger's hurt. Once again, twists the arm. Brings it down with impact. Can the American Dragon finally do it? Can he beat Liger? Danielson now grabbing the arm. Once again, Liger's gonna find a defense of that suit. He's got him hooked. Liger blocked the dragon, but gets a German with a bridge. Two count. Oh, he's going for cattle mutilation right here. This crowd coming to its feet as Danielson has cattle mutilation applied on the legend. Can Liger hang on? Will he tap? Liger's not close to the ropes. Do you think he even knows where the ropes are? Definitely not. Not after that German suplex. You get dumped square on your noggin. Turns it over! Oh! Liger just barely getting the shoulder up. Danielson thought it was three. I thought it was three. This crowd almost in shock at how close Danielson is. Another cover! Two count again. Roaring four! And he scores. He's going for the dragon plex. There it is! He's gonna get him! Oh, Liger kicks out somehow! That's what makes him one of the all-time greatest! Cattle mutilation! He's staying alive! He's staying alive! Danielson has it cinched in! He worked on the arm before! This one applies pressure to the arm, pressure to the neck! But he doesn't have it firmly grasped! And Liger reaches the ropes! Liger just survived the cattle mutilation! This crowd, it's almost like a quiet in this building. They can't believe it. Danielson is, is beating Liger from pillar to post right now. Danielson right now is owning Liger. Liger's got to make a comeback sooner. It's going to be all over. Liger blocking the suplex attempt. Danielson keeps trying to score with that. It looks like maybe a brain buster. Liger hits the Brain Buster, a desperation attempt there by Liger. That could be the turning point right there. Danielson in firm control, but Liger changing momentum with that Brain Buster. Can Liger follow up? He's signaling for another palm strike. Nails it. Liger sets in victory. Can we see it? Oh, I thought we were gonna see a Liger Bomb combo kick! Now we're gonna see the Liger Bomb power. Liger Bomb, that's it! How, how, how? Where's Danielson getting it from? How's he kicking out? He just kicked out of the Liger Bomb! After a brain buster, after a palm strike. Incredible effort from Brian Danielson. What does Jushin Thunder Liger have to do to put away Brian Danielson? He plants him on the top rope. What's Liger have in mind? Headbutt by Danielson. Oh, but Liger just slapped the taste out of his mouth. Liger's got him hooked. They're both perched on the top. Great 